Tonight, new details in the 38 Studios scandal. House Speaker Gordon Fox supported the 38 Studios deal in the beginning. Tonight, his first extended television interview about the How the Bankrupt Video Game Company and his role in luring them to Rhode Island. The Speaker was fired up in our interview, telling us, like everyone else, he's angry and disappointed in how this all played out. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the details. Speaker Fox agreed to join us on a taping of Newsmakers. We peppered him with questions about his involvement in the now infamous deal. Fox tells us he had no idea Schilling's company was going to get so much money. House Speaker Gordon Fox confirms for Target 12. In 2010, he helped coordinate a meeting between Kurt Schilling and EDC Executive Director Keith Stokes about potentially moving video game company 38 Studios to Providence. Do you feel you owe the people of Rhode Island an apology? I mean, I, I, an apology reflection, maybe do things differently. Fox was adamant that while the General Assembly voted to authorize an increase in EDC loans, they didn't know so much was going to Schilling. Did I know Kurt Schilling was interested in coming to Rhode Island? Absolutely. Did we mandate that he get $75 million? Never. Never, never, never. Did we vet any of his financials? I wouldn't know if Kurt Schilling would have qualified for a dime, for nothing, or for $125 million. Fox says it was up to the EDC to vet those financials. He says he thought everything was fine until a phone call this April from a 38 Studios board member asking for a meeting with the governor. The call comes to me, we have problems. Um, there's a communication issue. Can you get the governor to come meet with Schilling? He says the company was asking for tax credits and bridge financing. Within weeks, 38 Studios collapsed, eventually filing for bankruptcy. Is this a huge mistake? As we see it shaping out, it looks like it was an absolute huge mistake on so many levels. And we're going to learn from that, change it, and go forward. Former Governor Don Kachiri, who championed the 38 Studios deal, has never spoken publicly about what he knew. Speaker Fox tells us he thinks Kachiri should absolutely be giving interviews about what happened. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. You can watch Tim White's entire interview with House Speaker Gordon Fox Sunday at 5.30 a.m. or Saturday on our sister station for Providence and again Sunday at 10 a.m. Or you can watch it right now online at WPRI.com.